right, so we're in my 2007 Dodge Ram 1500 uh, with the 5.7, although the 5.7 doesn't matter for this. I have the issue with my ignition. So when I turn my car on, sometimes the key stay forward a little too far and uh, it keeps us keeps the starter engaged. So you hit the starter still being engaged even though the car's started. So I have to kind of like back it up a little bit. So I believe it's just because of the ignition switch. So I went on and ordered up a, a new one and I'm gonna to try to put this on here today. I uh, ordered this one off of uh, Amazon here and I think I paid something like 30 something bucks for it. Uh, and it arrived today. It's cold out today, but I'm going to give it a try changing it. This is it right here. And so pretty much it should be over on this side. And I believe it's going to be in there like that somewhat. Um, so we're going to start working to get that off of there. And we're going to use my um, T20 right here, T20 bit, to get off... Um, this right here, the thing to change the angle of the steering wheel. So you see there's a one right there. And then there should be, I believe, three down here. I believe. Uh, let's see here. We have one here, one here, and I believe there's gonna be, oh, and one over there. So we're gonna get those out of there, okay? All right, so first we're gonna start by taking off the uh, tool control handle. Take that out of there. All right, all right, all right so the other bolts, no, the other screws, the other T20 screws are too far in there for my tip to make it so it's not long enough it, once it bottoms out here it still needs a little bit further to get in there all right so I ended up using this instead to get the, the screw out um, the other one just that just didn't work it was uh, just a little too small that 2.5 by Allen wrench so I ended up went with Allen wrench with, with one of these where you got multiple sizes and this was able to get in there far enough to take it out so now I just have one more to take out, which is over here, which is up in here. And now that one is out. All right, so now over here, now we want to be able to just get this little boot off from around the shifter. Just pop that off. And then we should be able to lift up this top. So now I'm assuming at this point, let's give it a try. out and let's try it from this side over here there we go we get that up and now all right let me tell you something if you want to save yourself a a lot of headache for something that's simple. You want the, the T20, the Star 20 right here, but you don't want it on this type of setup. Get the one that's already set up like a screwdriver. It's like a screwdriver, but it has the, the T20 here. That way it will be easy. It will be a, really a, a, a one minute job to get the cover off. Without that, trust me, it's gonna be big headaches. I was wondering why when I looked at other people's videos why they uh, glossed over that whole thing they hid that part from you that there are different depths of how far you have to go in there and unless you have probably the um, the screwdriver version of the, the, the T20 it's going to be a big pain for you so I have it off and now we're going to go ahead that's what we need to remove right there and we're going to go ahead and remove it all right so 
that's the unit we need to remove right here and I think we're going to try to get these plugs out here first right here Let's see how difficult these are I think the plug is on the back so you actually have to get your finger behind there you see that right there you gotta push that on but it's on the back side as you can see you can't see it from this side it's on the back side so you gotta get your fingers off up in there and squeeze it down in order to get those out all right so now my fingers behind there and here it is I squeezed it down and now it's out so we have both out yellow on this side the white ones on this side and now we want to work to get out let's see here looks like that screw right here that's number one and I think there should be one more I think that one is already out from taking the cover off so let's go ahead and remove that one if I can keep them all around I'm sure I'll lose one or two so that's one out right there and it looks like there may be one more in the ah yes there is there's one more let's see if, if I can get a little light in there I'm not sure if you can see that other one right there you see it that's the one we got to get out all right all right got that one out all right and now the bracket is down that's the uh, tilt bracket right here so that's down out of the way and so that gives us access to those two bolts those two bolts is what's going to allow us to move the ignition switch so I'll go ahead and remove these two black ones that's one and that's number two those are the same length all right so now on this side over here should be able to unplug it see there's a plug right here oops turn that off all right push the plug little tab down from the back side on the back side over here there's also a little tab you gotta push down. All right, so the only thing should be holding it in now is this right here. It's a little plastic clip. So take a flathead and flip it up out of there. Huh. Broke it, it's okay. because. This one is going away. And, and there we go. There's the old one. That little clip that I broke off of this one, off of the old one, that's the old one. Uh, that would have been that clip right there. You see that little thin clip? That's what it was. All right. So now we're going to put this one in there. And I think I'm going to, well, plug it in last. Let's see here. See, you got that rod right here. Make sure to put that on, on top of that. Make sure our other plug isn't hidden behind there.
on it. It's really that little clip I was telling you about earlier. You want to be able to have that on the outside. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. combination of turning the, the key and working this in, I was able to get it in. What made it kind of difficult, if I can find the old one over here, is that, I'm not sure if you can see in there or not. Let's see here. 